there already I'm going for the double simulator so you will be mining gas out of six uh, Vespin geysers meanwhile Bly finished with this double expand but he does not have too many drones 44 drones against 63 probes we take a look at the supply we see uh, an 11 supply lead so the 22 supply lead is gone for the moment Bly got the overload speed he's got uh, the uh, drop ability for the overloads as well and the only units he is currently having are Zirklings and Banelings and 7 Corruptors and that's about it meanwhile uh, Nex on the other hand decided to go for the plus 2 it will be finished in 40 seconds and he's going for the High Templar where are the High Templars? Here they are. The Psionic Storm is finished already. What about the Kadarian Amulet? If I spot the... Yes, here it is. So Kadarian Amulet not even started. Now it is started. Um, so, um, of course, with the Psionic Storm... Oh, 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 oh. Um, especially when you have Templars, uh, Stalkers for example, just can storm your own units and every Baneling and Zirkling is evaporating right away. And um, Spore Quarter just finished in time and with the Spore Quarter finishing in time, what a nice timing by Bly. He was able to um, get uh, rid of those two Dark Templars trying to move in there and uh, I just want to tell you maybe do a warp with and attack from behind but instead he just um, goes directly for the kill uh, of the destructible rocks of course dark templars are a very good unit to have uh, to get rid of destructible rocks because of their high dps and uh, i mean um, 55 damage every 1.69 seconds is a shitload of dps this hatchery for example down to 370 hp will die for absolutely sure and Nex is doing a good job at not clumping up all of his units uh, all the time he's going for another Nexus here at the um, bottom left expansion as well and now this Nexus is going down Nex is, uh, this hatchery is going down and um, I mean I like uh, the decision making of Nex really really much. He went in with some gate unit, then he saw a shit lot of Zirklings and he saw the Corruptors, which means um, going for some Colossus play might not be the best option. Um, going for some carrier play might not be the best option as well, so going for some high templars. And high templars, of course, are really good units to handle those amounts of units. Because, I mean, we see that Bly, he is at 136 supply. And he's still got only Zirklings and Bailings. Um, he's got 42 Bailings very soon, 77 um, Zirklings at the moment. Bailings, uh, Zirklings trying to do a small run by 7 Zirklings in total. But 2 Zealots and some Photon Cannons already waiting. And with a plus 2 attack by the Zealots, should be no big deal to um, clear the remaining Zirklings up. But new big battle now engaging, now coming up. And there we see the Psy Storms. And the Psy Storms also, the Overlords getting Psy Stormed as well. There so you see the Baneling drops and the Baneling bombs. Not that effective. A very good micro by Nex blinking out of the Baneling bombs and then Psionic Storming in this area. So very well played by Nex. And uh, with this nice micro move, he should be able to take the game right here right now. Taking out the Spore Crawler. What about other DTs? This DT might be able to get some damage then No, the Spore Crawler and the Spine Crawler are rating their Bly going for another expansion here in the bottom right center location. Meanwhile, Nexus Nexus finished. He's got uh, four photon cannons in total. Only one pylon might not be enough. But he's got production capabilities. So there we see him having still quite a lot of units. In All in all, he has six... Um, Six gates only, and six gates is quite not enough, but he's getting now five more stargates, so in total he will have seven stargates, and with the seven stargates he might be going for some kind of uh, maybe carrier play, maybe just mass void ray, why, because mass void rays just destroy absolutely everything. Uh, but he does not have uh, the plus one on route, and this is what he sh what should really get. Um, plus one is so much effective, meanwhile um, Baneling drums here coming up and really nice Baneling bombing by Bly and even the Overlord with 2 HP survives so um, good job by him let's take a look at, and another Baneling bombing coming up here at the center location so Bly just kicked a shitload of probes and let's take a look uh, but next at 39 he was at 76 so he lost nearly 30 to 40 probes there right now next is now a little bit angry uh, 
attacking the destructible rocks, he will be able to take down the hatchery. So he will force Bly to still stay on three bases. I mean, Bly, he is mined out in the main base. It is trying to do some more action here, but uh, won't be successful at least for the moment as soon as they are out of range of the spore crawler. Bly rearranging the spore crawler. Bly nearly mined out in his nature as well, so he got only this expansion where he is currently mining on. We take a look at the units lost. We see next slightly behind, but of course because of his superior economy and his superior amount of bases. He might be in a better position and in terms of supply he absolutely is being ahead 21 supply. DT is trying to get in there once again but there is uh, the spore crawler waiting and now all those DTs are surrounded and the zirklings with a plus 2 attack do quite a lot of damage. The hive for Bly is finished. He's got uh, the ultralisk upgrade en route and how many units does he have on the field still? 63 zirklings, uh, 31 banelings, 7 corruptors and there once again some overlords are loaded up with uh, some bane links and now the mass of void ray play is coming up by next and he is uh, saving um, bunkering up all his, his void rays and still not going for the plus one attack meanwhile Bly on the other end might be a big engagement coming up Sci storm just in case but not that effective preemptive sty storm interesting 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 now the oh the overlords try to bomb the uh, high templars and a uh, nice banding bombs all the high templars are down right now so it is only stalkers left and of course banelings uh, single banelings running in against stalkers not that effective now the stalkers trying to take out all these overlords one by one by one and Bly lost quite a lot of overlords already and remember the only anti-air Bly currently is having are these um, corruptors with a plus one attack and that's all for the moment and next trying to get in here trying to get rid of uh, the uh, base trying to do some damage but all these speed links and the ultralis is a little bit too much to handle for him they just blank so he will use one or two uh, more stalkers in the process and three stalkers get out there barely alive meanwhile another bailing bombing a uh, bailing bombing was happening at the center location and still waiting for the void rays how many void rays do we have on the field already 11 void rays and we have four more void rays in production still no plus we're gonna take uh, and I really like the playstyle of next year he's really made uh, really good decision making he's adapting really really good um, and uh, after this game is finished, and I think it's fair to assume that he will win this game, I have to talk to this guy because um, he's playing really, really good, and I have to. Um, I mean, I know nearly every good player in Europe, seriously, and uh, I never heard of him. Uh, I never saw him play, and I'm really, really impressed with his play style. A nice job, by the way, of Bly here to um, poop some creep with this overlord so he can borrow the spore crawler and the spine crawler. At least he should borrow the spine crawler uh, there. Otherwise, uh, DT has no problems at all here coming uh, through there. And now the void rays are moving out, and there we see what's going on. 16 void rays. He just started the plus one, I think, uh, maybe better late than never. Bly just got this center location, uh, center expansion up here once again and he's soon uh, next on the other hand now is aware of it there are the void rays and I think the void rays might even be able to kill the Hatcher before they can charge up and um, there they are attacking and uh, take a look at how fast this hatchery will go down no chance at all for the world race to charge up and we have 14 15 19 mutilists in production by Bly he's got seven mutilists already out on the field so it looks like Bly is now waiting for his mutilists to pop out before he is engaging but this is, is so one-sided already and there we have more mutas on the field five more mutas to come the plus one is still 10 seconds away from being finished uh, void ray taking out absolutely everything and there are the mutas there are the corruptors there are even more mutas but all those mutas die pretty pretty fast and uh, only a four mutas left all the mutas are dead uh, six corruptors only left and still 10 void rays alive now nine void rays for Bly and uh, uh, for next and there we see the GG so really impressive game here on Shakura's plateau between next and Bly and congrats next he is advancing to the next round
And yes, I will be casting the finals of the GoForest C2 as well. I'm the uh, only English streamer. I'm the official caster. When you check the GoForest C2 site, yes, you will see me uh, there as well. And um, 